It is kind of deep. Students and faculty in Niagara College's School of Environment and Horticulture are set to take center stage for their work in protecting and restoring natural habitats around the world. This past month, the United Nations declared the decade of 2021 to 2030 a decade of ecosystem restoration. The initiative aims to massively scale up the restoration of degraded and destroyed ecosystems in order to combat climate change and enhance food security, water supply, and biodiversity. Niagara College has been dedicated to ecosystem restoration for over two decades and offers a graduate certificate program that is preparing students to become leaders in this emerging field. The restoration program um, is a graduate certificate program. It's one year, uh, eight months, two semesters, really focused on uh, skill sets required by a practitioner. Lots of science going on in that industry, but there's a lot of individuals that need to do the restoration work. Candace Affleck is a student in the program and says the UN's declaration is great news for her and other students pursuing <laughs> ecosystem restoration as a career. It's, it's very exciting to think that uh, I will be at the boots on the ground during that 10 years of the UN declaration and I will be the person, well one of the many people that will be restoring ecosystems just like this one. <laughs> Today we are installing staff gauges at our new vernal pool that we've created here on the Niagara College campus. We created this vernal pool in hopes that salamanders from the escarpment will be coming down to breed within it. So the staff gauges will help us monitor the depths of the vernal pool that we've created. Getting down into the dirt with your muddy boots on and doing actual physical things and making ecosystems is very cool and it is what everybody mostly comes to the program for. Graduates from the program are having a global impact on the fight against climate change, participating in groundbreaking restoration projects here in Canada and around the world. Many are now working for national organizations like Trout Unlimited, uh, as the lead there, doing cold water restoration work across the country. Uh, we've had students working down in Florida, uh, working on the Florida Everglades and restoration work stemming from the reintroduction of natural flow patterns out of Lake Okeechobee. The UN estimates that the restoration of 350 million hectares of degraded land between now and 2030 could eliminate up to 26 gigatons of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. I guess the last thing I wanted to say too is that it really illustrates, for me, you know, we're a preemptive college, but that uh, that goes way back. I mean, the restoration program was created 23 years ago while that profession was still in its infancy in many ways. And, you know, 23 years later to see the United Nations declare that there's going to be an entire decade uh, committed to doing restoration work that we've been teaching uh, our grads and graduating students into this industry, I think illustrates that... Um, our preemptive nature, you know, really goes back uh, in a substantial way. Affleck, who is set to graduate shortly, is looking forward to putting her newfound skills to good use over the next 10 years. Um, I have a special love for wetlands. I've, in previous work experience, have helped out with wetland um, restoration. And I think it's very cool to see how fast they snap back from just the agricultural field, for example, to a crazy wetland that's complete habitat and beautiful. So. Reporting for Inside NCTV, I'm Andrew Korchuk at the Niagara on the Lake campus.